John Erickson, Master Professional, Advanced Ball Striking. I often get questions from students that don't quite understand why they're seeing this 430 line. They'll say, well, isn't the plane supposed to be over here? Why is the club over here? I'm going to say right now, we need to forget everything that we think we know about swing plane. Here at Advanced Ball Striking, our swing plane is created by swing dynamics. It's created by the movements of the body, which are often telling our brain that it's going in completely different directions. But this cancels out into something that ends up on plane. So in other words, if we learn to hook our way into impact, but we cut our way out of impact, then we end up with a, a cancellation, a net zero that sends the ball straight down the line. This way we're pinning forces from one side against the other that run through our body and cancel out again, cancel out into a straight shot. We never want to try and just swing the club on plane because that's not really being created by the dynamics of the body. If I sit here and I say, well, I'm going to just follow the club and make sure the butt end is now at the plane and I'm going to come down. I'm not doing anything with my body. I'm just, I'm just pointing my hands at the club. Now, if I do something where I'm using my body, I'm going to say, oh, I need to send the club out here because my, my shoulders are going this way. And then we're going to do this with our lower body and blah, blah. We're going to flatten the shaft and then, then we're going to go over here. <laughs> we're going to come out. We're going to come out this way through the shot. Th these don't feel like they're on plane. It, this doesn't, that doesn't, this doesn't, that doesn't. Nothing feels like it's on plane. But when it's all said and done, it's on plane. And now it's on plane the correct way because it's done through the dynamics and the opposing forces that are created by the actions of the body. Now, why do we visually see this 430 line? Because our eyes are above this so-called plane because I'm looking down on this. Now, if my eyes were here, then yes, I would just see the club shaft and the club head going back and forth on a straight line. But because my eyes are above this and I'm looking down at a club that's moving in a circular motion to me visually, as we would see from this angle, the club seems to be moving in a circle. It's not moving in a straight line. This is what I'm seeing from above, a bird's eye view looking down. I see the club moving along the so-called plane and as it's coming down, I see that club coming out of the right corner of my eye, coming down what appears to me to be this 430 line, okay? So as the club comes down this 430 line, as we get near impact, then we are going to be rotating our forearms and our torso and be squaring the club up dynamically, visually, from the inside into impact squared up. After impact, this is now appearing to us visually from this bird's eye view that the club is going to be moving left and around our body and exiting, exiting this way. We're canceling out the pressures and the forces of the dynamic action, which now create something that's on plane. If I were to give the, the example of me by having a rock, let's say I have a, a rock on, the, on a string, on a stick, and if I, if I spin that rock around, it's not really on plane, it, it's moving in like an umbrella shape in the beginning, okay? But as I move faster, that umbrella is going to move up, and eventually, if I'm swinging quick enough, it's now moving around on a flat plane. If I'm spinning really fast, it goes woo like this. I think you can picture that. I, I should probably demonstrate that. But that would be the idea that as we're moving faster, that that then creates a plane. It's not because I'm holding a golf ball and a stick and saying, oh, look, I'm on plane with no dynamics. We create the plane through dynamics. So I hope that clears up the 430 line. It's something that we talk about a lot in the advanced ball striking. It's something that we see visually and that we can relate to. And we want to visually see that club coming 
what feels like out of our right hip pocket that the club is behind us and it's feeding from the inside and then as we get near impact then we're going to apply the uh, dynamics of the rotation and start accelerating the club and working the club back to square so that the face of the club hits at three o'clock on the ball and sends the ball straight rather than if we work the club down the flight line visually then that rotation happens and we end up hitting on at one o'clock or two o'clock on the ball and sending the ball to the left either with a pulled shot or a shot that slices and the danger of the pulled shot also is that the steep coming down also de-lofts the club and sends the ball farther which then puts the golf ball into the red zone on the pie chart which we don't want to do so i hope that clears up that little mystery of the 430 line and explains some of these things here to you at Advanced Ball Striking. See you next time.